Now, Destiny, girl, you know I am not a Melody fan at all. I don't like her. I don't do her. I don't do her. I don't do them Thai me 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 melameters or whatever they want to be called, girl. I don't live. But Destiny, at the end of the day, I stand by what's right. Whether I like you or not, if you're right, you're right. And when it, if you're wrong, you're wrong. And if I'm somewhere in between, that's fine too. Destiny decided to come out and bring out some receipts, but I'm not understanding what the receipts are for. Because if this was your way of trying to prove something, I don't know what it was proving. Because I thought the argument at the whole issue about this whole thing between you and Melody that broke y'all down again is melody's thing was you saying at the reunion that you don't know where you and melody's friendship stands because you have not talked to melody since y'all finished taping right so then saturday melody comes and she gives pulls her phone out and shows receipts of hitting you up somewhat throughout the duration of the time of when y'all stopped taping and when y'all went to the reunion, okay? So I'm not understanding what these messages are proving because to me, it's proving that, yeah, while y'all may not have talked every day, there was still some sort of communication between you and Melody. See, that was my point in, in, in the review. Destiny is that Melody got you because you made it seem as if she did not text you at all. You brought it up as if she never hit you up, as if y'all haven't talked in, 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 in so long, you don't know whether she's dead or alive, or at least that's the impression that I got. Now, if that ain't what you meant by that, and I got it all wrong, Destiny, get me together in the comments, girl. But like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not mad at the receipts. This is cute. But I thought you said that she didn't hit you up at all. Because that's the way that you presented it. You said that you went from he hearing and talking to your girl every day to not hearing from her. From what we see here, Des, there was a line of communication. Um, like what it says, where was this part that you put up here? These are Destiny sex messages. And she says, um, where the heck is my girl, Mello? Do I have to come and stalk you? Are you shutting off the world for a second? Um, and this was August 28th. And then September 6th, she said, what's up, Mel? Now, these are text messages. So from August 28th to September 6th, there was a time gap. So, I mean, did she call you? Did y'all have phone conversations? Not really text messages. I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out because it don't really look as if you was hitting her up, like hitting her up, hit 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 her up. Like, that's honestly what I was expecting to see with these text messages, Destiny. I was honestly expecting to see all of your text messages in blue. Hey, Mel, Mel, what's going on? Mel, are you okay? Mel, I ain't talked to you in a few days. Mel, what's going on? Mel, this, Mel, that. But from what I see, she was keeping some, some form of communication with you. Um, that's like here in the middle where you talked about uh, Jimmy reached out to me about trying to get in contact with you. He asked you for your new number, but I don't give out folks numbers. And then she says, well, who is Jimmy? And then you came back and said the landscape guy, the grass cutter. And she says, oh, OK, I wonder I wonder why he has my new number. He just texted me yesterday, but OK. And then you text back and said he said he couldn't find it. Now, Destiny, was that your way of trying to get Melody to respond to you? Because that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> that's really what it looks like. In the middle, it looks like that was your segue and seeing if she would hit you back. That's what it looked like. And then at the top of it, you post the after the reunion, 
new number given to someone you just heard talking crap about you, make it make sense. This also proves we hasn't been in communication because I didn't have your new number. So I'm assuming Destiny is saying that she got Mel's new number after the reunion, after they done talked about it, after Melody supposedly caught her and Letitia talking about her or whatever the case may be. So I'm assuming Destiny is saying after all of that, that's when Melody gave her her new number. But in Melody's defense, y'all know I don't take her defense at all. But in Melody defense, Melody did say that y'all talked and that y'all got over it. But then after she sat and she thought about it, you know, blah, 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 which that I don't agree with. Now, I don't agree with that. But, you know, that could have been around the time she went on ahead and gave you her new number. You know what I mean? Trying to be fair here. And so then in the last text message, you know, we see you, you know, you saying hi, you want to talk. You know, uh, we recap what happened at the reunion. Let's talk. And then Melody puts LOL. And then you wrote, like I said, recapping the reunion, hashtag receipts. Um, so then I guess you said just landed. I'm so confused. I'll be in the Ville all week. Call me. And then you said again, just reaching out so we could carve some time out to talk. Let me know what works for you. I'm here in Huntsville. And then I'm, I'm assuming this is Melody. She says, um, she says, um, hey, how's Wednesday? And then you said that works when and where. And she says we could go to your spot, another broken egg. So I'm assuming that's some Huntsville shit, child. So, <laughs> so yeah, girl. That's basically uh, the messages that Destiny wanted to get. Like I say, I'm confused at this point. These messages is proven what? If these messages were supposed to prove that Charlie ain't had no communication like that, I mean, there was communication of some sort. Like I said, Destiny, you came up here and made it seem as if you had not talked to Melody at all until y'all finished taping, until y'all sat down at the couch. That's why I'm confused at the text messages. What is the text messages really proven? I don't know. But Melody decides to come out with a response and um, I'm gonna let y'all hear Mel's response. I apologize because I wasn't as available and I pulled back, but I pulled back from everyone and everything. Because filming always does is so on top of kids, businesses, and all of that. It's a lot. So I pull back after filming is over. But we're not going to act like I disappear. But I will apologize. Because you know what? I could have told you that I was going to pull back some. So I apologized for that on the stage. And I stand on it. And I meant the apology. But we aren't going to act like I was. I had disappeared and you didn't ever hear from me since film. That didn't worry about it. All right, y'all. So that's all that Melody had to say about the situation. This is all I got to say about it. I'm getting so sick and tired of both of y'all at this point. I am. Like, it's listen, Love and Marriage Huntsville done gone from being a fun show to watch and review, get a cackle, get a kiki, talk your ish, and leave. It has now gone from that to how I feel when it comes to Potomac, when it comes to Atlanta, when it came to Porsche show. And I got to be real. Out of all of the Porsche stands, out of all of the Nini stands, out of all of, um, you know, those ones around there that I don't see it for y'all millimeters are the worst. Y'all are the worst of the worst. Like y'all are like, I swear y'all are also hooked up to some MK ultra around there. Y'all got to be like, I, I have never seen a, a more distasteful bunch of people in my damn life who wants respect for this woman 
but have no respect for other women. And here's the reason why I say that. I had somebody get up under my comments, under my last review, and said that Destiny being cheated on, Destiny happens to raise the law by herself, LaBeric doing Destiny the way that she did was all D Destiny's karma. I said, Destiny's karma for what? I, like, I, I, I was totally confused as to why Destiny need that type of karma on her life. And that bitch came up under the comments and said, because of what she did to Mel. And I said, okay, so you know what? And what, but, and I'm about to say this too, because I said this to Scotty in, 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 um, on the chat on Instagram. And I'm just about to say it up here. And I, I and listen, it may come off shady. Y'all women may feel away, but it is what it is. Y'all talk a lot about wanting respect for black women and protect the black women. I find that rich coming from y'all because y'all tear down each other way more and way worse than anybody else ever could. The fact that another woman could get under my comments and say that Melody didn't deserve what Leisure Suit did to her, but Destiny does because of what Destiny did to Melody, it's hilarious to me. It's hilarious to me. And it's like, it's all of it, like, even when it come to me, I don't like Melody. So because I don't like Melody, I hate women. Um, I'm a gay boy that wants to be Melody. I want to be Melody so bad. I I'm hating and I'm jealous of Melody. Jealous of the fuck what, bitch? I've been cheated on just like Melody. I got left for a raggedy ass, a.k.a. Just like she got left for a raggedy ass uh, 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 peasant. You understand me? The dude that I was with ran. I had one dude ran out and had a baby on me before. I don't understand what Melody's went through that I ain't went through that I'm somehow jealous of. I love my life the way it is. Because I don't like somebody, don't make me jealous. I just don't fool with them and their character. And if y'all choose to, that's fine. But me liking her does what for y'all? If y'all choose to like her and stand up for her, I'm not mad at that. But y'all get up under here and y'all take stuff really, 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 really personally for a bitch that none of y'all will never meet, for a bitch that ain't paying y'all bills. Like I say, if a bitch ain't feeding, funding, or fucking you, you way too heavily invested. I get up here, I talk my ish on Saturdays, and I let it alone. Unless it's something that's going on through the week like this that I decide to touch on. Other than that, I don't want to deal we we'll love in Mary Chanceville because of all it is. Like love in Mary Chanceville has not, it hasn't been fun to review because of some of y'all. If you're going to be a fan, be a fan. If you're going to be a stand, be a stand. But God damn. Y'all praise, I, I, I really hope y'all praise God yesterday the way y'all sitting up here praising this damn woman. Because the way that some of y'all do, it's like y'all idolize her and I don't get the fuck why or for what. But I ain't mean to go off on that tangent. I just read that girl, that lady, don't, I guess God wanted me to let y'all women know that. Do better. Do better. Y'all run around here. Y'all want to seek validation and, and seek respect and to be protected and all the rest of this stuff. But y'all don't respect or protect each damn other. And that's sad. You y'all will wish enough that that misery on another woman because she don't like her. Who? Y'all, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to give y'all. I just wanted y'all to know. Uh, to the twenty people that DM'd me this, it was I count I count y'all. It was literally twenty DMs of the exact same thing. I said what? Well, <laughs> I guess this is something that they want me to talk about, girls. So I'm home for the day. May as well go on ahead and talk about it because I don't know when y'all ever gonna get marriage boot camp or put a ring on it for that matter. But that's it. That's all I got. Y'all jump down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, I guess listen, I'm gonna let the comments do what they do. All right, because I already know. Somebody going to pick this all apart and get all mad and, oh, you hate black women. You know, oh, you just want to be male. 
You know, all, all gay boys do that. You just want to be male. All the rest of that stupid, foolish ass shit that you tired assholes coming to the comments with. Girl, I'm gone. Bye.